music in English is a shortcut to reach God. And bhajan, the purest form of music, a musical treat for the Lord, has become the most popular form of expression of the devotee's love and surrender. But for the consummation of bhajans, all the three aspects, that is, the power, feeling, the raga, tune, and the tala, rhythm, have to be in perfect sync with each other. And similarly, for our life to be in sync, unison of thought, word, and deed is a three way Let me at this point of time recall an incident where Swami emphatically responded to a student's prayer when he was singing bhajans. Decades ago, the mother of a student fell seriously ill. The doctors had given up and said that it was only a matter of time for an inevitable departure. But this tenacious student, hoping against hope that Swami will respond to his call, earnestly prayed to the Lord for the recovery. And even as time was running out, he found himself sitting right in front of Swami, pouring his heart out to the blissful presence that was going on. The intensity of his feelings, emotions and sentiments peaked when he sang the present, sang the power on the Mata side. Touched by the supplication and surrender of the student, Swami decided to intervene. For here was a student whose physical mother was lying on his deathbed and yet he was calling to the Lord as his divine mother and father. He was singing Sai Vita on Mata's side. Swami immediately walked outside the prison hall, went straight into the corner room of the East Prashanti building, where the mother of the student was lying down, and comforted her lovingly, holding her mouth a glass of water, granting her a new lease of life, and curing her from all her illnesses. That was There is a shade of difference. And I felt it was a very clever phrase to think of this shade of difference because to me, there's indeed the shade of difference from the vibrant orange to the sparkling white marble, I thought. And Bhagavan, in his most inevitable manner, decided to disprove this to me. 